Hi, everybody. Welcome to this episode of What You've Been Doing. And this week's special guest is... <laughs> Carly! Wonderful, wonderful. How are you? I am good. Carly, what you been up to? So much. Wonderful. Can't wait to hear all about it. First question. Where do you live now? I live in Dresden, Germany, in a little flat close to Allstadt. How long have you lived there? I got here August 10th. Oh my gosh. Is this the first time you've lived outside of the US? Yes, I've done lots of traveling, but I have never lived abroad before, so it's a first for me. Where do you work? I work at the Dresden International School in the primary school. What is your title? Learning support teacher. What is one word that describes your first day at your new job? Confusing. <laughs> what is your typical daily work schedule? Uh, we get there by 7.45 and um, yeah, work with students most of the day, some in the classroom, some outside the classroom. I get an hour break for lunch and then usually leave around four. Do you, ha do you work with any other Americans? I work in the primary school with two other Americans. Do you drive to work? Nope, no car. How do you get to work? I ride my bike. Oh my gosh, how long is your commute? Uh, it is seven minutes by bike. It's like two kilometers. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Do you still bicycle every weekend? Yes, definitely. Are the rules of the road different from Oregon for, for bicycling? Um. Yeah, people are just in general a lot more strict. Uh, so I've definitely gotten some angry stares and shaking fingers at me. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it's it's mostly the same. Yeah. Okay. Have you participated in any bike races? I have not. No, just lots of bike rides. Okay. What is your favorite meal you've had so far? Ooh. Okay, this is gonna sound really bad, but it was at this restaurant that's California cuisine, and it was basically an American brunch. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first thing you said in German? Um, ich spreche English. <laughs> what was the last thing you said in German? Alles gut. What is the most American thing you've said since you've been in Germany? I say awesome a lot. <laughs> Portland has ways of keeping it weird. How does your city keep it weird? Hmm. Dresden has a lot of really incredible graffiti and graffiti art. Some of it, um, some of it is just like your typical, um, like, word graffiti but then there's some incredible artwork that people do in like the tunnels and um along the sidewalks i'm just constantly amazed about at all the graffiti and there's some weird topics or subjects for some of the graffiti <laughs> what was a bright spot in your day this week Um, I went out to dinner last night with um, three new German friends and they weren't co-workers so yeah just new friends. Nice. Yeah. When you get out of the house besides work where do you go most often? The grocery store. <laughs> Almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to fly out to see you what is the one place you'd have to show me? Um, I think the Dresden Opera, the Semper Opera, the building is incredible and the operas there are just amazing. Yeah. 
What do you miss about Portland? Um, definitely the people and uh, just like the, I don't know, the, the culture of Portland, the coffee and IPA loving weirdness and yeah, just Portland people and Portland culture. What do you miss about Oregon? The mountains. What do you do to make yourself feel at home? Uh, I make burritos. <laughs> Speaking of food, what is the most delicious thing you've eaten in Germany? Hmm. I was on a really long bike ride and found a beer garden on the side of the road and got a bratwurst, just like a sausage and a hunk of bread. And it was so delicious. <laughs> What is the least appetizing thing you've had since you've been in Germany? Oh, um, I got some really weird hummus at the store a while back that just tasted like, ooh, I don't know, I, I, Germans don't do hummus well, so we got to stick with the non-German brands. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice. What is your current obsession? Um, right now, I think learning the history of the region. I'm in this state called Saxony, and that's where like the term like Saxons came from. So I really want to learn more about the history of the place. And so I'm like trying to find books and shows and stuff about that. Okay. What is the coolest thing in your place right now? Hmm. This plant. <laughs> it's so weird looking. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> the first thing I saw. But yeah, I bought it because I thought it was really cool. <laughs> what is the strangest thing in your place right now? Oh, the strangest thing. My freezer and my refrigerator because it is about this big. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. What are some of the so, rules related to going in public during the pandemic? Well, that actually just changed officially as of last night. Oh. Uh, it used to be wearing a mask um, in any store, inside any stores, and on any public transportation. Um, but now it's in any like busy areas in the city, whether you're inside or outside. Um, and then starting on Monday, we go into Germany lockdown. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you always follow the pandemic rules? Uh, yes, I do. I and actually here, um, the police want, are wandering around the city and will ask you to put your mask on if you're not following them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If your life was a movie right now, what would the title be? Carly and Lily do Dresden. <laughs> <laughs> what is one of the things that's on your bucket list while you're abroad? Really traveling, uh, which doesn't look real great right now. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, just traveling as much as, as much as possible. Okay, what is on your to-do list today? sorting my mail because i get a lot of mail and it's all in german and i don't know what it means so i just throw it in a pile and ignore it <laughs> what is on your to-do list tomorrow uh to go out to a restaurant i'm going to brunch and then to dinner because on monday restaurants close for at least a month so i'm trying to live it up while i can <laughs> yes what is the most rewarding day you've had so far in Germany? Hmm. Probably the day that, and this is going to sound really corny, but the day that I got to meet my students uh, and get to know them a little bit because it was a lot of build up to get here and start the job and it was nice to just get started and meet the kids and yeah. Aww. What was the last thing that surprised you? Ooh. 
Um, probably at dinner last night with three German people and all of them were willing to speak English for the entire meal and did it really well. Nice. <laughs> uh, what was your most recent freak out? Um, I haven't had one in a little while, but the one that comes to mind was like a month ago when I got really flustered in the grocery line and the cashier was trying to speak German to me and I didn't understand. And there's a huge line behind us and they, everyone was getting angry and I just like, and then I came no. home and cried a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. What is the best advice that you've completely ignored? Learn the language before you get to the country. <laughs> <laughs> what is the last thing you watched on Netflix? Uh, the Haunting of Bly Manor. Oh, the Haunting of Bly House, something like that. <laughs> Do you recommend it? No, it was really scary. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last podcast you listened to? Unexplained. Okay. Can you show us a picture of your furry friends? Or are they there? Can we see your furry friend? Yes. See Lily in her bed. Lily. Lily. <laughs> oh my gosh, too cute. Too cute. Did I lose you? Sorry, I only have one in one room. <laughs> we, we went out for a second, but we're good. So we talk about what we're thankful for in the month of November. So tell us something you're thankful for. Hmm. I am really thankful for the ability to be able to vote from Germany. And I even got a nice, I submitted my ballot via email, which was a little scary, and got a very nice confirmation email from the election volunteer saying that they got it and it was counted and it was good to go. Yes. Very thankful. <laughs> um, have you started a German version of Krapp? I haven't, um, mostly because officially we weren't supposed to be having school gatherings. Um, but there is a wine bar right across the street from the school that we may have had a group go to three or four times since school started. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we are carrying on uh, the tradition of crap um, at Catlin. Um, what are the chances that you're up to midnight one night and join us for one? It's a weekend night. I think it's really possible. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. Um, if you could tell all the folks at Catlin something, what would you like to say to them? I miss you guys so much and I probably annoy my new coworkers a lot because I talk about you all all the time <laughs> and um, I um, might compare a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, that was actually our last question. So um, thank you so much for participating in what you've been doing and take care and don't be a stranger. So good to see you. Good to see you.